ओम शांति मॉर्निंग मुरली ट्वेंटी सेकेंड मे अव्यक्त महावाक्य ऑफ अव्यक्त बाप दादा मधुबन रिवाइज कोर्स थर्टीन फेबर नाइनटीन नाइन्टी वन मुरली द वे टू ब्रिंग अबाउट इंटेंसिटी इन वर्ड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज टू यूज द पावर ऑफ कंसनट्रेशन एंड टू हैव अ कॉन्स्टेंट एंड स्टेबल स्टेज द वे टू ब्रिंग अबाउट इंटेंसिटी इन वर्ड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज टू यूज द पावर ऑफ कंसनट्रेशन एंड टू हैव अ कॉन्स्टेंट एंड स्टेबल स्टेज टूडे द फादर द रेजिडेंट ऑफ द फॉर अवे लैंड हैज कम टू गिव ग्रीटिंग्स फॉर द मीटिंग to his children from the far away lands and from this land all of you have come from the far away land and the father has also come from the far away land the children have come to give congratulations to the father and the father gives मल्टी मिलियन टाइम्स कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू द चिल्ड्रन टू सेलिब्रेट मीन्स टू बिकम द सेम इन द वर्ल्ड आउटसाइड दे जस्ट सेलिब्रेट वेयर एज द फादर सेलिब्रेट्स एंड मेक्स यू द सेम एज हिम सेल्फ सो ऑल ऑफ यू चिल्ड्रन वेदर यू आर पर्सनली इन फ्रंट ऑफ बाबा in your corporeal forms or personally in front of baba in your subtle forms all of you children in different corners of the world are celebrating the birthday of the father which is as valuable as diamond bab dada is also giving multi million times congratulation for a diamond birthday to the children who are in front of him in their subtle forms bab dada is also giving multi million times congratulation for a diamond birthday to the children who are in front of him in their subtle forms by celebrating this birthday of the great incarnation you children have become as valuable as diamonds yourselves this is known as celebrating that is of becoming the same a star of becoming multi million times fortunate is shining on the forehead of every child a star of becoming multi million times fortunate is shining on the forehead of every child by continually celebrating you have become fortunate for all time no one celebrates such a unique birthday throughout the whole cycle even though they celebrate the birthday of great souls those great souls don't make the ones who are celebrating become great only at this confluence do you children become great by celebrating the birthday of god you become the most elevated souls of all you make your lives as valuable as diamonds so that you play with diamonds and jewels for many birth you play with diamonds and jewels for many births This day is not a memorial of just the father it is also the birthday of the children because when the father incarnates as well as baba brahma dada the soul that was transformed also incarnates baap and dada both incarnate at the same time without brahmans bab dada cannot establish the yagya and this is why bab dada and the brahman children incarnate at the same time so whose birthday would you say it is 
whose birthday would you say it is yours or the father's it is yours as well as is it not you congratulate the father and the father congratulates you why is shiv janti that is the birthday of god known as maha shivratri great night of shiva it is not called just shivratri but it is called maha shivratri because on this day of incarnation shiva the father brahma dada and the brahmans had the thought of fulfilling a great promise what promise we will make the world great and elevate it with the promise of purity with the promise of purity adi dev brahma specially along with his first brahman children became the instruments to fulfill this great promise so this is the divine day of making a promise to become great this is why it is called maha shivratri the great night of shiva in remembrance of this great promise that you brahman children made devotees make a vow even until today devotees make a vow even until today this great birthday is the birthday on which to make a promise on the one hand it is the birthday of being revealed on the other hand it is the birthday of making a promise all of you who became the instruments in the beginning are the first jewels who emerged with adi dev the first deity the practical visible fruit of your the few souls of the beginning the practical visible fruit of your the few souls of the beginning promise is that all of you were revealed all of you everyone now were revealed look how you had gone into different corners how you had gone into different corners you went into far corners but the father found his children who are as valuable as diamond hidden by dirt now you the holiest and the highest diamonds are sparkling in the corners of the world now you the holiest and the highest diamonds are sparkling in the corners of the world so this is the fruit of the birthday of god and of you promise this is the fruit of the birthday of god and of you promise all of you everywhere even now make a promise in front of shiv baba's flags do you not you also continue with this method with the system of the beginning the birth of god is also known as shivratri night means darkness at night people or ob- objects are not visible as they truly are even though they are there they cannot be seen before the father incarnated you were not able to see or know yourself as you truly are you were not able to see or know the father even though you knew i am a soul you were not able to see with the eye of knowledge and experience even though you had eyes you were in darkness when you are eyes don't work properly you are not able to see clearly so you too were in the dark 
you are not able to see yourselves therefore baba first removes this darkness shivratri means to remove darkness and to intensify the light of that which is real this is why they celebrated with the name shivratri they celebrated with the name shivratri the methods of the path of devotion are the memorials of your accurate methods on the one hand there are methods of devotion and on the other hand there are the accurate methods of the children baba is pleased when he see both of them on the one hand there are methods of devotion and on other hand there are the accurate methods of the children baba is pleased when he sees both of them you people are also pleased are you not knowing that your devotees are so clever at following even up until their last birthday they continue to use their methods of devotion all of this is the wonder of the father and you in your point forms the saligrams are also worshiped with father shiva all of you know the importance of the form of a point all of you know the importance of the form of a point this is why up to today devotees still give importance to shiva that is to a point they simply know the form of a point they don't know it in an accurate way but they know his form in their own way all of you not only know the father as the form of a point but as well as being a point he is the ocean of all treasures he is the ocean of all treasures as well as knowing the point you also know him as the ocean you know him in both his forms you know him in both his forms not just as the point you know both the form by knowing his form as the ocean you have become master oceans how many treasures are you filled with can you count this can you count these the treasures are countless plentiful and imperishable all of you have become master oceans have you not all of you have become master oceans have you not or do you have to become that now what will you do during the year of tapasya tapasya means that whatever thought you have it will be filled with determination tapasya means concentration and determination even now you have a yogi life all of you have a yogi life do you not or are you the ones who have yoga for 8 hours 6 hours or for some hours you have a yogi life already so why has this year been specially designated as the year of tapasya you are doing tapasya anyway are you not why has this been designated as such bab dada sees all the children as yogi souls with yogi lives and you are in your yogi lives you other lives have finished already having become tired of a life of wandering with sensual pleasures having become disheartened so you have become yogis after careful consideration did you become yogis after careful consideration or was it because someone asked you to do 
बाबा इज आस्किंग डिड यू बिकम योगीज आफ्टर केयरफुल कंसिड्रेशन और वाज इट बिकॉज सम वन आस्क यू टू हैव यू बिकम दिस आफ्टर हैविंग हैड एन एक्सपीरियंस और सिंपली थ्रो हियरिंग अदर पीपल्स एक्सपीरियंसिस हैव यू बिकम योगीज आफ्टर एक्सपीरियंसिंग or did you find that it was very good simply after hearing and seeing did you make the contact after seeing or did you make the contact after hearing about it did you make the contact after seeing or did you make the contact after hearing about it you have not been deceived by any one have you Did you see very clearly? Check that a magic spell has not been cast on you even now. Have you made the contract with all three eyes open? Your intellect is also an eye. As well as with the two physical eyes, you have made the contract with all your three eyes open. are all of you strong all of you children have a very sweet conversation with baba what you say baba i am yours i am yours i will not go anywhere else you also like the gyani and yogi life very much however you then have to tolerate something small in one thing or another at that time your minds and intellects come into a little upheaval how long will this carry on how will this happen there is this upheaval from time to time sometimes it is with yourself sometimes with service and sometimes with service companions this upheaval makes a difference in your being constant <coughs> this upheaval makes a difference in your being constant the percentage of the power of tolerance sometimes reduce slightly you are strong but even strong ones are sometimes shaken by these things so the year of tapasya means to pass with 100% in all virtues all powers all relationships and all accepts of nature and sanskars at the moment you are pass but you are not full pass one is to pass another is full pass and third is to pass with owners during the year of tapasya only a few might pass with owners but everyone can at least pass fully <coughs> everyone can at least pass fully the easiest way to pass fully is whatever papers come and the papers will come during the year of tapasya it is not that they would not come pass them with the consciousness of them being papers don't consider that situation to be a problem but consider it to be a paper students don't go into expansion about the test paper and ask why did this question arise how has it come who has done this you take the paper with the thought of passing and so you pass the paper pass them with the consciousness of their being papers you ask what has happened how can this happen in your weakness don't think when it comes that these things happen for yourself you think that these things happen this much is bound to happen about others you think 
वट हैव दे डन वाई डिड दिस हैपन सो कंसिडर दीज थिंग्स टू बी पेपर्स एंड पास दैम विद द एम ऑफ पासिंग फुली आई मस्ट पास आई मस्ट पास थ्रो दिस एंड आई मस्ट रिमेन क्लोज टू बाबा वैन यू हैव दिस कॉन्शियसनेस यू विल पास फुली डू यू अंडरस्टैंड वैन यू हैव दिस कॉन्शियसनेस यू विल पास फुली डू यू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ इन द रिजल्ट ऑफ द मेजोरिटी इट इज सीन दैट यू हैव पास वेरी वेल इन मैनी थिंग्स इट इज जस्ट दैट यू समाइम अलाउस यूर ओल्ड नेचर्स एंड संस्कार्स टू इमर्ज इन यूर न्यू लाइफ दैट यूर नेचर एंड संस्कार्स क्लैश विद द संस्कार्स एंड नेचर्स ऑफ अदर्स यूर वीक संस्कार क्लैश विद द संस्कार्स ऑफ अदर्स This weakness in particular causes obstacles in your being able to reach your aim. <coughs> Instead of having a full pass, it makes you just have pass marks. Don't allow your natures or sanskars to emerge in thoughts or actions and don't let them clash with the weak natures and sanskars of other. both require the power of tolerance both require the power of tolerance and the power of accommodation the lack of these does not allow you to come close to a full pass and this is the reason why there is sometimes carelessness and sometimes laziness to make your mind and intellect become concentrated in this year of tapasya means to stabilize in the one thought to stabilize in the one thought i have to pass fully if your mind and intellect become even slightly disturbed then stabilize them once again with determination i have to do this i have to become this burn all of those weaknesses in the fire of yoga tapasya has the fire of yoga been ignited you also have the fire of love but sometimes the percentage of the intensity of the fire decreases it does not get extinguished completely it decreases slightly whatever you put into an intense fire will either be transformed or burnt so a very intense fire is required to bring about transformation and to burn something so you guys the fire the fire of love is ignited even now but let it be constantly intense it should not sometime be intense and sometimes less so it should not sometime be intense and sometimes less so with a physical fire too when something has to be made very good and on time you would keep the intensity of the fire accordingly so that the item is cooked well and on time if the fire is extinguished in the middle of cooking would it be prepared on time it would be prepared but not on time so if your fire of yoga becomes slack from time to time you will become complete but it will happen at the last moment those who become complete last cannot claim the right to the fortune of the first kingdom those who become complete last cannot claim the right to the fortune of the first kingdom fast is it the aim of all of you to have the fortune of the first kingdom or will you come in the second or third birth you want to come at the time of the first birth do you not the year of tapasya means to make fast effort and to come into the kingdom at the time of the first birth with the first number souls you want to return home with baba do you not 
then you also want to come with father brahma into the kingdom do you understand why this year has been designated as the year of tapasya do you understand why this year has been designated as the year of tapasya increase the power of concentration even now waste continues against your wish the side of waste sometimes become heavier than the side of pure elevated thoughts so tapasya means to finish waste thoughts because this completion will bring about perfection without completion there cannot be perfection you are beginning the year of tapasya today bab dada congratulates you for your zeal and enthusiasm you have to claim full marks in all four subjects don't think that you are okay in three subjects but that there is something lacking in just one subject will you pass fully then no you would then be in the list of those who only pass to pass fully means to claim full marks in all four subjects there should constantly be feeling of benefit for every soul they may try to shake your stage but you have to have benevolent feelings benevolent vision and a benevolent attitude and benevolent actions even for those who may cause you some loss this is known as being a benevolent soul the meaning of shiva is the benevolent one is it not the meaning of shiva is the benevolent one is it not shiv jayanti means to have benevolent feelings to have benevolent feelings for those who bring you benefit even those without knowledge to do that everyone knows how to get on well with those who get on well with them however with your benevolent attitude you have to transform those who have a malevolent attitude means of causing harm that is you have to forgive them you may not be able to transform them but you can forgive them can you not you are master oceans of forgiveness are you not your forgiveness will become a teaching for that soul nowadays when you give teachings some understand whereas others don't do this and it will become a teaching for them forgiveness means to give them the blessing of good wishes to give them cooperation forgiveness means to give them blessing of good wishes to give them cooperation the time for giving verbal teachings has now passed now give them love give them respect forgive them have good wishes and pure feelings this is the method to use to give teachings the other method has now become old so do you know this new method during the year of tapasya bring everyone even closer with this new method baba told you earlier that some beads are ready but that the rosary is not ready you have the thread and the beads but the beads are not close to one another and this is why the rosary is not prepared the beads are ready individually but they are not ready as a close group during the year of tapasya you have to become equal to the father but the beads have to come close to one another too do you understand you were yogis you are yogis and you will always live a yogi life continue to see every scene of the drama as a lovely scene every scene is lovely 
any scene that is not lovely for the world is lovely for you whatever happens is filled with some significance by knowing its significance you will not be upset by anything in any scene those who know its significance don't get upset those who don't know its significance get upset this time the double foreigners have arrived here in time to celebrate shiva's birthday you had the determined faith that you had to come and so you arrived here did you not those who were wondering whether they should come or not were left behind this is nothing more has to happen yet as yet nature has not started to cause up heaven with full force it starts but seeing all of you it cools down a little she also becomes frightened thinking my masters are not yet ready who servant shall i become you are fearless are you not you are not the ones who become afraid are you people are afraid of dying whereas you have already died how can those who have died already be afraid of dying you are trustees are you not if you have the consciousness of mine maya the cat will say meow meow baba is saying if you have the consciousness of mine maya the cat will say meow meow in hindi mein aao i come i come you are trusty anyway even your body is not your own people are worried about dying or about their possessions of their feeling families you are trusty anyway you have become detached in advance are you detached or do you have a little bit of attachment if there is body consciousness it means you have attachment therefore tapasya means the form of fire fearless tapasya means the form of fire fearless both the special dadis are listening and watching दादी जी एंड दादी जान की आर लिसनिंग टू द मुरली इन देयर रूम्स यू हैव टू एक्सपीरियंस सम न्यूनेस बाप दादा हैज सेड प्रीवियसली वन इज टू डू सर्विस विद वर्ड्स एंड अदर इज टू डू सर्विस विद द एंजलिक इमेज ऑफ पावरफुल लविंग दृष्टि सो दे हैव रिसीव द पार्ट ऑफ डूइंग दिस सर्विस फॉर अ लिटल वाइल फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग you have been doing service with words and actions doing service in this way is to fix in the drama it is the service that will remain at the end they have been given this part for a short time they are both special children so service is merged in them settling their accounts the settling is only in name but the significance is the service within the unlimited play this too is a wonderful play the parts of both of them are of newness this one is quickly settling accounts and moving closer to the stage of completion and perfection she will not go alone none of you should think this each of you has to settle your accounts but some of you just settle them whereas others do service while settling them so all of you have become victorious have you not the medicine of everyone's blessings changes the prefix into a throne you were not influenced by the karmic accounts both are all right they are just taking precautions rest is also a precaution just as you have to take precautions with your food this is the precaution of walking moving around and speaking what can love not achieve 
वट कैन लव नॉट अचीव देयर इज सेंग लव कैन ट्रू स्टोन इन टू वाटर लव सॉरी देर इज अ सेंग लव कैन टर्न स्टोन इन टू वाटर सो कैन इट नॉट चेंज दिस इलनेस इट हैज चेंज हैज इट नॉट द इलनेस ऑफ द हार्ट हैज चेंज इट हैज चेंज फ्रॉम स्टोन टू वाटर हैज इट नॉट सो दिस इज द लव ऑफ ऑल ऑफ यू now just the water remains the stone has finished by staying in rest the faces of both have begun to sparkle the love of the family also helps a lot acha to all the souls everywhere who have the elevated feeling of bringing about world benefit to all the souls everywhere who have such determined thoughts to the souls who transform themselves and the world with tapasya to those who have a powerful and constant stage with their power of concentration to such souls who are engaged in doing tapasya to the loving souls to the souls who constantly remain with the father to the children who remain constantly cooperative in using different methods of serving please accept congratulations for the birthday of the great god love and remembrance as well as namaste and we spiritual children thanks god and give and saying namaste good morning to our sweetest spiritual father bab dada today blessing feel baba's hand on your head and take blessing baba is saying may you be full of the eight powers and make your stage elevated according to the time and situations may you be full of the eight powers and make your stage elevated according to the time and situation the children who are full of the eight powers use each power for every act according to the time and the situation the eight powers make them specially beloved deities and the eight jewels souls who are full of the eight powers easily make their stage according to the time and circumstances success is merged in every step they take no situation is able to bring them down from their elevated stage slogan whatever actions others see me perform they will do the same whatever actions others see me perform they will do the same by keeping this slogan constantly in your awareness every act you perform will be elevated om shanti thank you bab dada